Well, today is the day. I leave the house with a van and I'll be coming back with a camper. The one thing that makes a van into a camper is a bed and that's what we're going to be tackling today. I'm going to put an L-shaped slide out bed in the back with the help from Steve. He was on my last car cam video actually. So I'm heading over to Steve's now in Telford to get some material, some wicks and hopefully try and turn this van into a bit more of a camper. I'll show you a bit more of the design later on. But for now, let's get to Telford. The sound of a cracking cork against Carl's skull, sponsored by Lindau. Sponsored by Lindau, available now. <laughs> right. That's his van right there. I'll give you a little poke inside Steve's van. Now he's completed his conversion. How are you this morning, right? I'm all right, I'm all right. Well, we're ready, yeah. aren't we? We are ready, mate. So well, what have you done to it so far then? So, if I give you a quick look and I'll show you guys a bit more of a closer look of what actually we're gonna do today, so I've brought, seen it, you see. I've brought that along with me. The reason being is that I'm thinking of repurposing that. Yeah, that's good. So idea. the idea is to hopefully try and kind of cut the back out of it a little bit and hang it over this wheel arch. Yeah. Um, don't worry about the trims. We'll keep them on for now because actually what's going to happen with these little trim bits, I'm going to take them off and carpet them and put them back on. Okay. So we're going to reuse them. Um, so the L-shaped bed yeah. uh, will come down from the driver's area all the way down here and then, around here and then across there and then that will actually eventually just sit across and actually hang over a little bit when the door opens oh is this what's going to be your, like your are you going to integrate a kitchen into the house i'm hoping so no problem no problem <laughs> he says <laughs> well let me just say whenever you're doing a van it's yeah. as, which is i found is nothing square is it no right, to work to and when Even we were that, like, yeah i like mean a little look at that there, there. So when you're, we're actually putting that timber in, yeah. we're going to obviously, and you have to bear that in mind with the measurements as well, you see. Yeah, yeah. But I tell you what, it's going to look good. It's, it's going to look it. good. <laughs> now, before we head off to Wix's, I want to show you guys a little sneak peek into Steve's oh, yeah. van. Well, last time. You've already released your video, haven't you? Showing yeah, it. Yes. Okay, all right. Yeah. I haven't got to worry about like No, these no, no. Like... But I think last time when we were on the uh, old, when we did the bonfire camp at Alderford Lake, yeah. I said, didn't I? You had the old one. Yeah, I said, this is the last time you'll see it like yeah, this. Yeah. I'm just wondering if I've done, if I've made the bed. <laughs> old van? Old well, well, it's, it's an old van, oh, but I it's a new. I made the bed, look. Oh, well, oh, oh my well. God. well. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put the light on. There you go. I'll put the lights on. Nice. And then I'll, I'll open the back door up and get a bit of light in. So this is the exact same size as mine. Yeah. It's a small wheelbase. Mine's a Renault traffic. Ooh, Steve's is a Vauxhall Vivaro. The bed's bad, isn't it? No, you're all right, mate. Exactly. This is nice in here. Well, what I did with it, my issue was, was the rock and roll bed that was in here. This was fitted out like any other camper van that you'd see. Stat factory standard. And the trouble is, when the bed was out, you couldn't get into the fridge. So having a drink in the night is just not an option, you know? Because, yeah, people will ask, what's it like sleeping that way? Yeah, how tall are you? Six foot two. Yeah. You know what? I've not had a problem with it. You know yeah. what? I think naturally I. You sleep said that with... you had a little, a little extension piece. Yeah, yeah. That goes that's on there. the piece of foam that yeah, there for yeah. you. So if you want to lie diagonally, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Right. Are we heading off to Wicks now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. And just while we're on the way to Wicks, is a quick mention from today's video sponsor, Surfshark. And I wonder what's underneath this tarpaulin. You'll have to wait to the end of the video to find out. <laughs> <laughs> but today's video sponsor is Surfshark and when they reached out to me to sponsor a video I couldn't refuse because I've been using their products now for at least the last two years myself and all my family included we use the one plan we pay for one membership to Surfshark and we get to use unlimited devices on there to make sure our online browsing is completely safe what's Surfshark well it's a VPN what does VPN stand for it stands for virtual private network now one of the main benefits that springs to mind for using Surfshark for me was when the new Top Gun Maverick film came out. I don't know if you've watched it, I've watched it, it's absolutely fantastic. When it first came out, I wanted a little trip down memory lane and just to inject myself with a little bit of nostalgia by watching the original. But I couldn't do that from the UK. Netflix only streamed it in the US. I had to change my location virtually on Surfshark to the US because that's when I could watch the original Top Gun film from the comfort of my own home. And just one final last point before we get back to today's video. If you're not computer minded, much like um, my dad, 
Love you, Dad, but uh, let's just say he's not very computer friendly. Surfshark starts on his computer straight away and automatically connects to the fastest connection to encrypt his data. He hasn't got to do a thing. So those are just some of the reasons why I use Surfshark. I want to say a big thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can get a whopping 83% discount on your subscription. And also, to top it off, you also get three months free by using the code Brendan Explores. Now back to today's video. Right, let's go and get the wood. So we'll have two tubes of that. Okie dokie. Okay. Have you got a multiple pack of screws at home? Nope. Right, then... <laughs> <laughs> then that will do with. Alrighty, that's all our wood sorted. We've gone for external timber to go for the slats. The reason being is that this is significantly cheaper than this stuff here. I mean, what we talked about, 10 pound difference for a four pack, yeah, innit? Yeah, absolutely. No one's gonna, see, you know, nobody's really gonna see this. No. Um, so, I think it's absolutely fine For to slats, use. And that's it, that's nothing, ultimately it? what it is, that's gonna yeah. be hidden underneath. I mean, once we've, we'll hit this with the sander, it'll be beautiful when yeah, it's done. Yeah, yeah. What I was um, so surprised about was actually the price of wood these days. Yeah. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, just these two packs here are gonna cost us, well, cost me, <laughs> sent me back a good 50, 52, 54 quid, yeah, just yeah. for what, uh, what's gonna be slats, you know, it's crazy. Yeah. But um, we'll go price it up and I'll, uh, I'll cry at the till. And this we'll kind of wood bed. will turn into a bed, won't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it will, yeah, that's it, yeah. 190, 74. 119. 119, oh, that was better than 190. Oh, I'm glad I misheard you. 119, brilliant. <laughs> And one thing I haven't mentioned here, actually, is uh, obviously the help of somebody who's very knowledgeable, who oh, has the tools. Is he coming in a bit? <laughs> That's uh, kind of priceless, really. It's raining. <laughs> yeah. I'm the labourer today, Steve's the craftsman. <laughs> <laughs> So first job, before we start thinking about the bed, because the bed's gonna be an L shape around the side and around the back, I'm thinking of repurposing this cabinet, as I said earlier on in the video, but what we need to do is cut the back here just so it recesses over the wheel arch. And then what I might do, instead of just going all around this panel and making it ultra complicated, is maybe just put a little bit of wood shelving across there onto the uh, windowsill, possibly at a later date. But we just wanna try and recess that as much as possible to give us as much room to extend the bed when it slides out. And I've also brought it forward a little bit, so it is gonna hang over the entrance door, but there's enough room there for me to get in and be comfortable. And then looking at the back of the van, this will be where the back bench is, just here, just enough room for someone to dangle their feet down. But to be quite frank, the ideas I've got of uh, sitting on this is gonna be either someone sat at the very end there with their feet up, chilling out, relaxing, and then someone sat here with their feet across the width of the van. A nice homely feel. And then that'll be the kitchen unit. Today is getting the frame done and getting a workable bed. And as far as the cladding, if you want to call it that, um, on the exterior of the bed and drawers and cabinets and stuff, we'll think about that at a later date. But let's just get the foundation down and start making the bed. Yeah. There. Okay. That's pretty damn good. Right then, Steve's become particularly brave. He's given me a tool to use. <laughs> oh my god, he can wow. Am I a professional now? Yeah, I have never I I haven't seen um countersinking like that since <laughs> I worked on the Titanic. <laughs> Okie okay. dokie, right then. Look at that, look at that. That is a proper professional job, that is. Right, so we've got the base design here and the bed's framed out around the wheel arch there. Just getting the support struts now. We've measured it up to 16 and a half from the floor inches. Just so I've got enough room to sit on it and not have to bang my head on the roof as well. I'm gonna join the rest of those three up just so we can kind of get the height on the bed. And then we're more or less halfway there then. Got to get obviously the top frame done. Then we've got to do the slide out part, but uh, yeah, it's starting to take shape. Right, so a little bit further along this build. Obviously we've got the base frame there. This little piece of wood tucks in behind the wheel arch. And I've just built the top bit here. 
and uh, it's starting to come along now. It's looking like something now, isn't it? Right then, right. let's move it over and then see yeah. how it fits. Oh, that fits nice. Snug as a bug, Yeah, mate. that is really nice. Well, snug as a dug in a rug. <laughs> <laughs> After many more laughs and a bit more work, we decided to come back another day when it was light. Alrighty, this is uh, day, day two, three or four, is it? Uh, nine. <laughs> <laughs> day nine. No, it's day, day two in the Big Brother act. It's day two, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I can't do majority accent. It's two, two and a half. Two and a yeah. half. We did half with yeah. the drive. I don't know what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, we, we anyway. did. We did a lot of the older. Uh, we just got all the framework in now. So now we're on yeah. the next stage now, which is create, creating a sliding mechanism and then. Oh, by the way, you didn't see that. You didn't see all the battery stuff, all right? That, that's coming in a later video. <laughs> wow. Is that a yeah. teaser? It's a, yeah, call it a teaser if you like, yeah. So basically, this is like the most mishmashed kind of build you could ever even think of. So uh, there's no kind of rhyme or reason to this. Um, I had to try and think about just getting the van ready to be camped in, and then yeah. I thought about power. Then I'm starting to think about insulation. So uh, if there's anyone watching these videos as a tutorial on how to do a van build, um, please don't follow. <laughs> 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 we'll bring you back in a sec once we're a little bit closer to doing the first cuts of the day today and getting some things in place. What's wrong? <laughs> we're good, aren't we? Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. I see the problem. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> you got the call it on camera. <laughs> Basically, I think we can still use the same pieces of wood. Yeah. It's just a case of It's got that a needs to be turned. Yeah. That needs to be turned. Uh that'll be a different piece of wood now, because obviously that's gonna go that yeah, way. Yeah, because we we're online there. Yeah, but it's that but piece of wood that needs to be, be turned. That way it's supposed to, that to be that way, way yeah. 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 Okay, right. Should we just get it changed around? We haven't got to take it apart. All we've got to do is we, 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 we just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Come on, we can do this. Come on, we can do it. What is going on? We can do it. I'll tell you what, um, we'll start the day again, shall we? Good morning, Steve. Hi, hi, Brent. <laughs> right then, <laughs> second time lucky. <laughs> okay, right, yeah. that's more like it. There yeah, we go, okay, we've got it. After cutting and chamfering the edges of the slats to size, I started alternating them, connecting them to the fixed and sliding frame. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. The first slats are in now. We've got them alternating between this back pillar here, which is the permanent frame, and this is what's gonna be the sliding pillar here. So fixed, sliding, fixed, sliding, all the way along. Fingers crossed we've got enough wood to be able to make all these slats without having to go to Wicks again. Steve's working hard now on the back frame. Yeah, I'm building so, the back frame now, we're getting there. Yeah, so where Steve sat right now, that's gonna be where the actual end part of the L shape is gonna be. And we've measured right, just so we can get that kitchen unit in here, which is currently my mum's garage. But yeah, it's coming on. We're starting to make an actual bed now. The reason why this is slightly different color is we've used some is it called bry wax? Yes, wax, yeah. Bry wax. So basically, the issues we were having over the last couple of weekends, trying to get this sliding mechanism working, it wasn't quite working. So what we've done, I can't really show you an accurate um, look here at the moment, but where the sliding slats come out, underneath there on here, we've then dug into the bed and dug into the wood just to kind of give it a gap to sit properly because it was catching. Then we've done some more chamfering, done some more sanding, and now we've got a nice slide out bed. Give us a demonstration, Steve. You've got yeah, enough well, fingers to give us a slight yeah, yeah, well, we'll do, demonstration. Yeah. yeah, and I'll tell you what, I don't care if you're an experienced joiner, this has been a nightmare to Yes, build, it has, it? yeah, yeah. Right? It ain't for faint hearted, is it? it oh, look at that. That's it, that's look it. Look at that beautiful. Nice look at one. That. There you go. 
And now we've obviously done all the chamfering, we've put the wax on, we've sanded it down, put more wax yeah. on. It makes it a nice slide out bed now. See, so I haven't got a fight against it every single night. No. <laughs> um, then obviously the back piece here, we're gonna leave this as it is for the now. Uh, the only final pieces that we need to do on this bed now are literally gonna be hatches on the top here, because this isn't this is gonna make part of the bed. We'll put some drill holes in it just so we can get a bit of ventilation. And then they're gonna lift up to be able to provide some storage at the top end of the bed. And then where Steve is, oh yeah, down here. Just down the side of the bed there, we're gonna put some hatches on with some latches that go down. So you've got a little bit of storage underneath and the batteries yeah. will be stored underneath there as well. So thank you ever so much, mate, for this. Um, uh, 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 mate, your, oh, oh. your help, your tools, <laughs> your expertise. And also, like you said before, we even put the camera on, doing something like this, as frustrating as it can be, yeah. if it's with someone that you actually get along with, yeah. it can be a lot easier, can't and, it? And the thing is, right, you know, <laughs> that, you know how many different types of saws there are now. How many Because <laughs> my wife says to me, she'll go, what, you want another saw? But she thinks all saws look the same. Yeah, but yeah. as you know, all those different I, I, bits and pieces. Like, we've got three drills on the go here, haven't we? we have, All mate. doing we a have. different job. Yeah, we certainly and have. And that's it. When you've got the tools for the job, it makes it so much easier, doesn't it? Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Now, where do people need to go, mate, to go and check out your content? Because yeah. Steve's releasing loads of stuff at the moment, especially from Shropshire. And if you're into Telford stuff, Steve's the man yeah. to go to. So what's the yeah. channel, mate? Well, I've got a couple of channels. I've got Telford Ultimate Guide, where I do a lot of history-related documentaries. But my main channel is called Steve's Monumental Adventure which is where I go all over the country discovering those amazing places like epic places which great engineering feats and things like that um, so I've got a North Wales um, series coming out coming out and sort of like I think it's coming out in March might yeah, be good yeah. looking forward to that and then over into sort of mid-year I'll be releasing another series of my monumental adventures which we've got some great locations there to visit great look i really recommend you go and check out steve's channel i'll leave a link in the description below go and say that i've sent you there as well leave a thanks <laughs> to steve because honestly if it wasn't for this oh, guy okay, this man. wouldn't be done or it, it might be done but it might take about six months <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys there. Thank you for joining me for this video. Um, apologies once again that the videos have been a bit uh, thin on the ground over the last couple of weeks. There's been a lot of stuff that's been going on. Um, Work-related stuff for me and for yourself, hasn't it? Obviously yeah. being tied up with work. Can, I, can um, I say the final word? Yeah, go for it, go on. Be kind. Be kind. <laughs> World peace. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully it's not two weeks away. Fingers crossed I can get a shift on and um, start working on some more stuff with the van. But I'll see you in the next one.